Lately, the makeup industry, in terms of being a makeup reviewer, has had a little bit of a lull. So I've had to like come up with my own video ideas that weren't reviews. And I've got to say, I've missed the hustle and bustle of reviewing all the launches. And so I was casually looking at Trend Mood today and I was like, huh, we've had a little bit of pickup. Ace has picked up. So I want to do a big ish. Shop or drop on all of the items that I think are worth talking about. If you're new here, Shop or Drop is inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series where I tell you whether or not I will be shopping for an item or dropping it from my shopping list. So let's get started. I believe I've talked about this collection in the past, but I do want to update you. So Too Faced has launched, and this is long gone, launched a couple weeks ago, the chocolate collection, better than chocolate collection, excuse me, the same rendition of what they've been coming out with for a while now. Um, As far as the palette goes, <laughs> I bought it. It's on the way to me. I actually should receive it tomorrow. I'm not sure when this particular video is going up, but you may or may not have seen that I have it now. So I shocked the palette. We'll drop the bronzers. We'll drop the lipsticks so they look pretty. And what is this in the bottom left corner? I don't know. Oh, it's an illuminating and smoothing concealer. I'm interested in that. I didn't even know that they launched that, but this launched July 12th. I'm weak with the palettes. I always buy them. I, <laughs> I always think they're eh, but I always buy them. Okay, let's talk about these Charlotte Tilbury launches. I wanted to do kind of a dedicated shopper drop on this, but I just, I don't have enough information yet. But a new lipstick came out from Charlotte Tilbury, the Kissing Formula, which is my favorite formula from Charlotte Tilbury and Island Dreamed. I did drop this only because it was the only thing that launched and I didn't want to place a whole order for it, but I'm sure it looks pretty. I mean, I'm also sure it looks like all of her other lipsticks. So I dropped that and then it looks like we have a new formulation of a concealer in the top right corner up there. Thank goodness, because the one concealer that she has ain't doing it for me. I don't like it, so I'm excited to see what that's all about. And then a new face palette. I believe it's a Pillow Talk face palette from the sneak peeks I've seen online. Shop, shop, right there. I am shopping both of those. I am equally as excited for those. As soon as those are available, I will put my busy pants on and I will be reviewing that. So really excited about this. If we get more information, maybe I'll do a dedicated shopper drop and if not, um, there will be a review. Point blank period. Okay, I'm actually intrigued by this. So Lancome launched a new foundation. It's already launched. I haven't picked it up yet. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to try this. This is the Lancome Tant Idol Ultra Wear Care and Glow Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. I love Lancome foundations. I think they have some of the best foundations. So I'm interested in trying this. I'm going to say shop. Not sure when I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to pick it up from Sephora. I am not doing a dedicated review. This did launch last week or anything like that. But I just, I'm going to try it. I'm excited about that. I love Lancome foundations. Hourglass launched a new foundation that I'm excited about. This is the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation line. I'm excited about this because I don't love the two most popular Hourglass foundations. I like their tinted moisturizer. But this, I'm excited about. It sounds like something that I would like and I've already bought it. So that's definitely a shop right here. We're gonna go on with this. Okay, <laughs> I'm really rolling through these today huh this is from makeup forever it's available on sephora right now these are the forever rouge artist forever matte longwear liquid lipsticks everything why is there an urban day okay oh this is a multitude of liquid lipsticks that have launched in this photo okay <laughs> so in the bottom right corner is the makeup forever i already bought one it's in my sephora order i didn't buy a bunch of colors i just got one so i shopped that just curious, Makeup Forever always has really great quality products, so I bought that. It looks like House Labs is coming out with a long-lasting liquid lipstick. Probably gonna drop this, though that pink color looks really nice. Um, I've tried everything from House Labs with the exception of a couple products that weren't available at my Sephora. You guys know my thoughts, I've talked about it a lot, and I'm House Labbed out. I don't need any more liquid lipsticks to begin with, so this is a drop for me, not interested. I don't know why I felt inclined to pick up Makeup Forever, but I skipped out on the house. And then Urban Decay also launched their Vice Lip Bond Glossy Liquid Lipsticks. I would not have bought these drop, but 
Herb indicated send me a couple shades. So I will try those. You'll hear about them in a trying new makeup, new at Sephora, speed review, something of that nature. You will hear my thoughts on it. But would I have bought it myself? Nah. Same reasons as House Labs. I just don't need the lip products, but they did come out with that glossy lip stain. I, I don't like when those words are put together, but we'll see what they did with it. Ace Beauté. This is the Palettopoly eyeshadow palette. This is stunning. Absolutely stunning. If my eyeshadow palette collection was not so chaotic, would I have picked this up? Absolutely. However, it is a drop. I didn't need it. I I have a Pat McGrath palette coming soon. I found my chill, you guys. I'm not saying, you know, I'm satisfied with my eyeshadow palette collection. Well, I am. I am satisfied with my palette collection. But I'm being selective with what I purchase for review. Because even though some of you think I have a shopping problem, I really don't. Yeah, with makeup I don't. <laughs> I really only buy products as for my business and I would not have done a dedicated review for this so I didn't pick it up. But I'm not saying I wasn't tempted because I was. This looks beautiful. Drop on my end, but I want it. I want it. I love me a good Dior product. Dior launched their Forever Natural Matte Velvet Compact foundation tentative shop tentative it has to be the right time right place for me to buy it like i need to see it if i'm placing a big sephora order if i'm placing a big sephora order then i'll add this to cart no i want it actually not as tentative of a, a, a shop anymore I, I think i want this i love a velvet matte powder foundation product. I consider myself to like powder foundations more than the average person, and I love Dior. I think they create great makeup, so I do think I want this. Okay, that's a shop. I like powder foundations too much to pass on that. I am weak. <laughs> so this just came out at Sephora, the Major Brow Defining Pencil from Patrick Ta Beauty. In my opinion, when it comes to Patrick Ta's makeup line, he does no wrong. I already I bought it. I placed a big order with like the Hourglass Foundation, the Makeup Forever Liquid Lipstick, literally two days ago. And it got split up into two orders. This came alone next day. Still waiting for the other stuff. I used it today. Phenomenal. It's a very nice brow pencil. Once again, Patrick Ta. Dang, you're good. This is a good pencil. I mean, probably don't need pencils. And you know, you can get good pencils from the drugstore, but I'm here to confirm, keeping up that record. Good job, Patrick, good job. Okay, I actually saw these in store at Sephora and I need to tell you about what I saw. So these are the Rouge Forever Transfer Proof Lipsticks, meaning they are gonna be matte, probably dry. And I'm gonna confirm with you they are dry because they were on display at my Sephora. Them lipsticks were literally cracked from being so dry on the inside. Now it had to do with the fact that the product was left open but they're dry, they dry themselves out. Would not necessarily recommend these from what I saw at Sephora, which I'm now just realizing they were out early in store because I saw them and they come out. These are hecka dry, hecka dry. Mm -mm, don't, mm. I mean, haven't tried them personally, but I've seen them, okay. Um, ColourPop Cosmetics, one of my very favorite affordable makeup brands has come out with today actually the Cleggett Cool collection. I have it in PR. Um, most, most like 90% of the ColourPop collections at this point would be dropped for me just due to the sheer overwhelming amount of products. But there's like one product in here that I would buy would be a shop, which is the Super Shock Bronzers. I'm so intrigued. I'm I'm gonna have to do a new at ColourPop video because I have the BT21 collection and this one. Ooh, and we have some new, oh, these aren't glowing lips, blotted lips, that's disappointing, Never mind. The palette, it looks warmer in person, not that great. Mostly just excited for the bronzers. Other than that, it would be a drop, but we'll see what I think as I play with them because I do have it. I got asked about this, um, I'm not gonna pick it up. The Ultra Blur Talc Free Translucent Setting Powder from Laura Mercer yay came out there's a huge talc free movement going on right now i haven't done my research but anytime i post about a product on tiktok people are like that has talc in it i've lived to tell the day anyways little trendy that they're doing this but cool i guess anyways it sounds interesting because it says it's ultra blur 
so my head is turned. It's a drop for me. I'm not gonna buy it. Y'all know I got a lot of powders, but I'm intrigued. I kind of hope they sell that to me in PR, selfishly. Oh, also, have you seen this from Halsey? She's coming out with a new makeup brand, like a second brand. She has About Face, and then there's AF94. To my understanding, AF94 by Halsey is going to be more drugstore price oriented compared to About Face. I haven't tried anything from either brand. I do have a PR package from About Face coming my way, but not really a brand targeted towards me and the style of makeup that I wear anyways. Um, drop, but interesting. I, I'm very interested by this kind of marketing here. The fact that she's coming out with a second brand. I don't know, but it's coming to Walmart. I'm actually kind of curious. I'm saying drop, but it's launching July 25th, so if you catch me in the mood, I might buy it. I don't know. I'm just intrigued. Chapter 4 of Rem Beauty. I'm actually quite interested in this. We're coming out with the sweetening con- I've been watching too much Love Island UK. We're coming out with the sweetener, concealer, blotting papers, blurring primer. Ooh. I like a concealer launch. Drop? Question mark. 90% of this is by chance if I buy it. It's like very few things I set out to intentionally buy and then there's some where it's like if I'm on the computer and I'm in the right mood and my card is beside me and I'm like, oh, this launched, I'll buy it. Like, this has my head turned. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm really only interested in the blurring primer and then the concealer. So if it's within easy reach of me, because it's launching July 28th on their website, maybe. I'm saying drop for now, but I may, I might fall weak. I can admit my weaknesses. Okay, I saw this launch on Sephora, and I'm like 99% sure I'm gonna end up with this Prisme Libre loose setting and finishing powder in powdery pink it's like i don't even know that it's smart for me to buy a pink powder but it, i like pink and pink is so trendy i'm passing on the lip products those are drop i placed that sephora order that i was talking about and then i realized after i placed that order that this powder was available and i so wish i had placed this powder in that order so i want it i am going to get it period I need to chill out. I hope it comes in stores to Sephora so that I can just buy it in person. I need to go visit Sephora. Fenty, why are you doing this? They have more shades of the matchsticks. Can somebody tell me, did they reformulate since the initial first launch? Because I tried these in the first launch and they were like dry. Okay, and I talked about it on TikTok and people were like, you know, throwing hands with me. But then some people were agreeing with me that they're dry. And some people were like, well, you just gotta warm it up on your hand and then put it, like, that's the point. Why do we have to do that anyways? I don't like this product, but I guess if she's expanding the shade range, joke's on me. Wait, wait. Tower 28 colors. What is that Tower 28 Sesame? I like that name. Lip gloss. I mean, pass for me, drop for me. It's too small of a launch, but that color looks pretty. Then Refi is coming out with a cream blush. Happy to see them expanding their range. Drop for now, but I'd add it on later, you know? Sephora 20% off sale, I'd add that Refi cream brush. Blush, not brush, blush. And Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in Pink Glow. Wait, tell me why Makeup by Mario, he posted that on his story and I was like, ooh, what that? So many new launches at Sephora, you guys. Okay, I kind of want that Makeup by Mario shop. Hmm, hmm, I need to go to Sephora. These all look so stinking good. Like, it's the kind of situation for these products where I'm not going to buy these. I'm not going to place an order for any of these items individually. But if they are all laid out in a pretty display at Sephora, I'm going to just add them all to my basket. So that that's where I'm at. No, no dedicated review coming, but I'm interested. Okay, I've been asked about the Danessa Myricks Lightwork 3 Experience Palette. I already have the one that launched last year that was a bit bigger, so I have all of these shades, so it's a drop for me. However, it's coming back. It was limited edition last year, and I do recommend this. I really, really do. It's a condensed version of the palette that came out last year. Should I do a video on the one that I have? Huh. Anyways, I already have these colors, but if you don't, this is great. Great quality. And that 
that's all I have to talk about today. I see that Fenty hair was trademarked. Dang, Rihanna, she is Miss Moneybags, let me tell you. And at least her brands are good. Whoever she has, you know, working behind the scenes on this amazing team, uh, it's a Fenty empire, as Trend Mood has said here. I buy Fenty hair because I feel like she'd have really great products for my hair type, which is wavy. I think people with curly hair get mad when I say my hair is curly. I have wavy hair, but it's just easier to say it's curly sometimes. Anyways, <sighs> so that was chit chat. That's what's new in makeup. So I think I'm buying a lot, yeah. Normally with these shopper drops, I'm like drop, drop, drop. Well, at least lately with the lull of makeup, there's some good stuff coming. My wallet, she's crying. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know. Is there anything that you see that you plan on picking up? I would love to hear it. Make sure you stay subscribed to see uh, what I lied to you about, what I said I wasn't going to pick up, that I did. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye.